I'm not sure what else can be said about the 888 Toronto gathering that hasn't been said before. Most of you know that I'm a man of many words, and yet I have a hard time truly saying what this gathering meant to me. My friends and family outside of YouTube couldn't even begin to fathom how a meetup like this could enrich my life. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not even sure how I could explain all of this to fellow YouTubers. It's as if there's no real way to define the experience I had in Canada almost two weeks ago, an experience I can undoubtedly say touched my heart and soul. A couple of years ago, YouTube started out as just a silly hobby for me. It was a good way to waste time, make quote unquote internet friends, and communicate with the world at large. But somewhere in my relatively short history of making internet videos, something inside of me changed. It turned from a silly hobby into a much more profound experience, eventually taking what I used to call internet friendships into the outside 3D world. I came to Toronto with a handful of friends, all with a shared interest in a website that most of us have complained about more than we've ever praised. And yet, despite those frustrations, so many of the bonds and friendships get stronger with each passing day. I've met a few of these friends before at other smaller gatherings. I've spoken on the phone, IM'd, followed on Twitter, Skyped, hung out in Stickham, emailed, and of course watched many videos by these friends who I never met beyond the electronic constraints of technology. All of these people had a crucial role in me needing to get to this particular gathering. I simply had to meet these people. Once actually in Toronto, the experience became a whirlwind of familiar faces, happy greetings, laughing, singing, dancing, endless meaningful and sometimes not so meaningful conversations, and tears of love, friendship, support, and understanding. I'm convinced that between us all, we solve the problems of the world, and at the very least, rock that world. I swear I heard an explosion late one night. The intangible, undefinable forces that somehow brought us all together from literally all around the world were definitely present. I think we all felt it and just rolled that high the entire time. New introductions were made. Immediate connections happened at an almost shocking rate. Friendships for life were created at the drop of a hat. Strong new bonds were formed. Kindred souls that up until this very special moment in time had only existed in some odd type of electronic format, were being now fully realized of their true potential in this wonderfully colorful and tactile 3D world. Memories of a lifetime were created. I can honestly say that other than at a few weddings of really close friends, this was the most love I've ever felt at one place for such an extended period of time. That's how strong it felt. The quote unquote internet friendships that I had before I came to 888 were strengthened in that undefinable way that I can truly say has changed a part of my soul. The depths of these friendships and the connections that now continue beyond the days of this incredible gathering and far beyond this silly little hobby of making internet videos has changed my heart in ways that I still can't fully articulate. I left Toronto with a few additional siblings, many friends for life, a much larger extended family, and an utter amazement at the power of the internet, all because of YouTube.